Hey there, Daniel Kelly from View School here with a mighty bite for you about Ref to Bounce from View Use. I learned about View Use while creating a course all about it on View School, and let me tell you, I really think View Use is probably one of the most useful things you can install in your View 3 projects. So let me show you in this video how to use Ref to Bounce from View Use. We probably all had the case before where we wanted to call an API as a user types into an input. So in this example, I am checking for the existence of a username on like maybe a registration form or something like that. So I'm calling a dummy API and I know inside of that dummy API, there is a user called ggude7, okay? And here I'm just displaying a little message whenever we hit an existing username. All right, so the problem that comes about with this kind of scenario oftentimes is that you end up calling your API on every single keystroke. So let me just show you that here. Okay, put some uh, characters in my field, and sure enough, down here, you see for every single character, I'm making a request to my API. That's no good, right? So the reason that's happening is because the username reactive data here that the field is bound to is being watched. And I'm watching it for changes and then calling the API whenever it changes. Now this is actually a, a pretty nice setup in terms of um, maintainability and being able to automatically make this kind of check whenever the input changes. But it's just happening too much. So in order to slow that down and debounce it, what I can do is I can import ref debounced from at uu slash core. Now, of course, you would need to install this package, but I already have it installed for this project. Now, I can create a new variable here called username debounced and call ref debounced, passing it the ref that I wanted to bounce as the first argument. In our case, that is the username. Now, the second argument is the number of milliseconds that I want to debounce it for. Okay, so now let me put in, let's just say 500 milliseconds I found is usually a pretty good debounce time. And then finally, instead of watching username and making our request to the API whenever username changes, now I'm going to watch username debounce instead. All right. Let me open up that network tab one more time, and let's see what happens this time when I type in the username field. Okay, that was a whole lot better. I've got quite a few characters here, but only a single network request. This is perfect, this is great for our API, this is just great all around. And it was super simple to pull off, with view use. Now, there are a lot of other helpful functions, a lot of other helpful composables available via view use. I definitely encourage you to install it in your view three projects today and check it out. It's really going to save you a lot of time. That's it for this mighty bite. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference.